can't tell who's on here. Where do I look? Oh, I think at the top it says the viewers. Oh, okay. That oh, yeah. Hi, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, Shanna. And, um, yeah, I see some people. <laughs> It'll take a second for them to come on, but let's begin. Can you hear? Yes. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, so to everyone who is watching, thank you very much for tuning in to S'more Live Happy Hour. We're going to be doing a weekly show dishing on everything dating related, from crazy dating stories to hilarious games and useful tips. We've got you covered completely. And I'm so excited that Sky is with us today. She is a triple threat model, actress, <laughs> entrepreneur, and she is going to be dishing on everything dating. We're going to get into your personal dating life. You're not going to be able to pull us away, yep. probing <laughs> questions. Uh, and I am uh, going to be hosting you today. People call me ACA, so that will be easy. Uh, and it's also, it's also happy hour. So we should all take a little sip if we're drinking alcoholic beverages or water or whatever we're drinking. Yeah, we've got green tea. This is, um, in, enjoy ourselves. Have yeah. a good time. Ask some questions on the chat. But let's go live and let's start with Sky. So we're new friends. How yes. do we know each other? How do, you know, <laughs> how do we know each other? We know each other through a mutual friend, um, Denise, actually. Um, yeah, she is, uh, I'm very grateful for her to have introduced me to you. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's quite the character, that one. And we'll do a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> because she, she did something really good. She brought us together and you can yeah. never separate us anymore. We're like, yeah. we're soulmates. We are definitely yeah. soulmates. <laughs> um, I want to get right into it and I want to find out how your dating mind works and all the crazy experiences that you've had. And the first yeah. thing, I think a good icebreaker for us, since we are talking about dating, is for us to play two truths and a lie. Okay. So tell okay. me two things that are true, one that's a lie, and I have to guess which is truth and which is a lie. So, are you ready? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I grew up on an island. I'm vegan, and I'm a skydiver. Ooh. Yeah. So normally I wouldn't believe that you're a skydiver because I feel like you never reach the bottom. You just keep floating up. Yes, yes, I'm sky, <laughs> sky. <laughs> You just keep floating higher and higher. Yeah. So I'm going to go with, I think that you are a skydiver, and I think that you are a vegan, and I don't think that you lived in Ireland. Ah, uh, an island. <laughs> island? What's island? Like an island? Oh, you lived on an island. No, Sorry. no, no. Well, you've already oh. said your guesses. <laughs> you didn't know what I was saying. Um, uh, yeah, an island. Are you still sticking with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, Australia is actually an island, fun fact. So I did grow up on an island. And I'm vegetarian. I'm not vegan because I love cheese. But um, oh. yes, so I could be. I look like I could be vegan, right? Oh, I'm so healthy. I feel like you could be vegan. I think that <laughs> you know, from what I understand, you have been going through this bit of a transformation in your life. Saying, oh, I have. Yeah, I had these vices. Like, talk a little bit about you going from these crazy. Uh, you know, uh, as a model, as an actress, there's so many could be negative things in your environment and you kind of, you've been there, you've done that and now you're kind of creating a new life for yourself. Yeah, I'm all about health as well. Um, you know, I used to, like, I don't even, I don't drink with an iced tea. I'm very good for my body. I mean, every now and then if you guys want to, I mean, it's different for everyone, but for me, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I'm very into my yoga, my crystals, and I'm just very into like earthy, um, nurturing kind of things. I've just taken up a psychology course, a psychology course, and I love it. Doing that online. I got lots of time to do that. Which is great. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm just you know, it's all about balance and being centered for me. I've definitely been a wild child, a party girl, um, but those days are behind, and uh, 
that was uh yeah it's like another lifetime and, you're, and, you're, <laughs> and so it's a new leaf for you it's a new year yeah. uh, we yeah. are going through a little bit of crazy times which is a very oh good God, segue yeah. into sky's craziest dating story so you know, we've had people on the, we will probably have people on the show that'll tell us stories about dating famous people. You've, I'm sure, dated a few celebrities that I know of. Uh, you've had experiences with guys who are rude, awful etiquette, people that you've met on dating apps, and, you know, people and, and things on apps that have been totally unexpected, right? So things that happen in a restaurant or a bar or a gym. I want to know Sky's craziest dating story ever. Okay, so, um, yeah, you probably do know some people that have dated, but I'm going to go with um, as someone I met on a dating app. Ooh. I'm going to say it here, that, uh, what app it was. Um, we'll just call it S'more, but even if it wasn't. No, it wasn't <laughs> S'more, though. Okay, um, okay, it wasn't I S'more. I don't think I would meet someone like that on S'more, so. <laughs> um, but this one, like, this guy, he was just... It was just really crazy. Um, I was trying to think. I've had some really weird ones. But this one, I mean, yeah. He, we went to a bar, and um, but he wasn't even drinking or anything. He never drank or done drugs, so you can't even blame that for his weirdness. But like, <laughs> so he, um, he was showing me videos of um, the craziest one that comes to mind. Like these weird daredevil things that he would do. Like he he put fireworks up his ass. What? And no, he did attached, not. <laughs> attached them to a car and lit it up and was like lighting them from like his butt to the, what? To the sky. It was so dangerous. <laughs> so like, I just was just so obscure for me to go on a date with this guy. It's just, just so crazy. And, um, and I just didn't know what to say. And so that's, that really stuck out to me. I never really had someone show and tell with me like that. Um, not on a first date, at least. That was like, that was, and I mean, no, even on other ones, it's never gotten that weird. I'm gonna say here, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess that's yeah, that was pretty whack. <laughs> that is, uh, that's pretty. I mean, I I will share some other stories with you, uh, not now, privately, but that's yes, pretty. Right. <laughs> that is pretty pretty crazy. Uh, so like, yeah. it all it all kind of boils down to the fact that you seem to be the perfect catch. You're beautiful, you are an actress, you are a model, you're an entrepreneur, <laughs> your house looks beautiful. Thanks. So why do you think you're still single? Oh man, I just don't have the time. You don't you have know, time? I've got so many projects going on right now. Um, adding more time in to go on dates and like do that whole get to know you thing it's just yeah but i mean eventually i'll i'll, I'll step back out there <laughs> in a few months in a Something year like this perhaps yeah maybe even a year so what would be your who is the perfect guy for you what does this person look like maybe physically but sort of emotionally what are what were what was missing from other guys and who are you really looking for since there's probably a lot of viewers out there wanting to dm you so um i would want someone that's like emotionally mature um <laughs> and someone that uh has the same morals as me and um someone that is really into physical and mental health and um nutritional health you know just all that stuff is really important to me like if you like if you don't take care of yourself it's kind of like i'm so into that so i don't want to like it i mean i would still stay in that way but yeah so that and um yeah that's pretty that's pretty good right there uh someone that's really into their growth and just that wants to be the best version of themselves you know so i noticed you didn't talk a lot about physical so it's a lot yeah. of emotional. Do you feel like maybe your type has changed from maybe lusting on the physical to oh, if I'm gonna love this guy, he's gotta be deep on the inside too. A hundred percent. Like I I've definitely um fall guilty to just doing a swipe, looking at the picture thing and just being like, Okay, that's good, let's meet up. But like 
they have a nice wrapper. And then if you go on the inside, it's not always that sweet. So yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful with that. Yes. No, but, it's, sort of like, it's sort of like a nice bottle of cologne. I think that so many bottles look good. And I tend to buy the nicest bottle of cologne. Yes. And oftentimes, I smell like the rainforest, which I don't really want to smell like <laughs> on a daily basis. Yeah. It's sort of similar, but a little bit different. Yeah, but like, um, so inside definitely matters. It's as cliche as it sounds. Um, yeah, and then I feel like the attraction, the physical attraction, comes later as well when um, when you when you get to know a person like that. It takes time. Yeah. So before our call today, I asked you to bring a prop, bring an item, which is called our little segment called Dish and Tell. Tell me what item you brought on. So I asked you to bring an item that a guy needs to have with him or have used if he's going to go on a date with Sky. So Sky, uh, what is this item that you brought that every guy who's dating you needs to have? So I totally misunderstood that. I was thinking like, um, like what do you need to bring? And like, I was gonna go buy myself some. <laughs> but there's just not really, there's not enough places that are open right now that has this. But um, I'm such a sucker for flowers. Oh. So um, <laughs> that's just something I feel, which is just like, 